Well, today was definitely a pivotal day in probably a lot of people's decisions when it comes to who they're going to pick for this year's Kentucky Derby. One of the horses that we got to see run was Messier, and that is the subject of today's Derby Profile. So, another day, another Derby Profile. Today's episode will be on Messier. Let's go. First up, let's quickly go over his stats. Messier has ran a total of six times, with three career victories and three second-place finishes, and total earnings of $435,600. His major races include victories in the Grade 3 Bob Hope and Robert B. Lewis stakes, as well as second-place finishes in the Los Alamitos Futurity, and most recently, the Santa Anita Derby. And for how he won these races, Messier is versatile. In the Robert B. Lewis, he was a frontrunner. However, in the Bob Hope stakes, he let Forbidden Kingdom set the pace and came from the back to win. So Messier can win however he really pleases. He can stalk and he can front run. It's just a matter of what's appropriate. His highest speed figure was in the Robert B. Lewis and came out to a 107, which is tied with Zandon for the highest speed figure going into this race. So, make sure to keep that in mind. And now on to the meaty part, which is the strengths and weaknesses of Messier. First up, we have strengths, which there are many to choose from, and some of them are not what you would expect. Let's go with the most obvious ones first. He does not need the lead. He is versatile and has won in multiple different ways. His second strength is history. More specifically, real quiet. Real Quiet had a very similar campaign to Messier going into the Kentucky Derby, all the way down to losing the Santa Anita Derby to another Bob Baffert-trained horse which had less racing experience, Indian Charlie. And who did Messier lose to in the Santa Anita Derby? That's right, the undefeated and very lightly raced Taiba. So if history is to repeat itself, Messier will win the Kentucky Derby and Taiba will be third, if things play out just like what happened with Real Quiet and Indian Charlie. Even if that doesn't happen, Medina Spirit had a very similar case of history. Last year, Medina Spirit won the Robert B. Lewis and then lost the Santa Anita Derby before crossing first in the Kentucky Derby. Of course, he didn't keep that victory, but he placed first while being trained under Bob Baffert. And yes, I'm very well aware that technically Messier isn't a Bob Baffert horse anymore because of the suspension, but let's be real here. He's a Bob Baffert horse. He's only being traded over because of the suspension thingy. So my points still stand. As for weaknesses, the weakness would be he's somewhat inconsistent. Messier has two different types of races. He has his A-tier races where he's an absolute beast and wins by open length sometimes, and then there's the ones like the Low South Futurity and the Santa Anita Derby, where he runs well but just gets swooped up by a better horse. The question is, which one are we going to see in the Kentucky Derby? While statistics suggest that he's probably going to save his best effort for the Kentucky Derby, there is still a chance that we're going to see B-tier Messier and just see him get swooped in the stretch. But we'll just have to see on Derby Day. In the meantime, I'd give Messier a solid A grade, same with Epicenter. Although, with how well Smile Happy and Zandon came out of the Risen Star Stakes to go on and run in the Bluegrass Stakes, you could almost make the argument for Epicenter to be A+, but that's besides the point. In the meantime, Messier joins Epicenter with a solid A grade. I'd highly recommend him, but if you don't like Baffert and want to choose somebody else, I completely understand, and... In a lot of ways, I really hope that Messier doesn't win just because of my own pure biases, but if we're looking at it objectively, Messier's a good choice. So in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed this derby profile, comment down other horses I should cover, and see you guys on the flip side.